Today on Free Field Training, we're going to talk about the Hackett Equipment Rifle Burrito. It's a 42-inch rifle bag. Uh, Hackett sent me this bag along with a range bag that we've been taking to the range several times over the last few months. Uh, but most recently, we shot some steel plate with it. It's a really cool video. It'll be coming out soon enough. Now, this bag is different than a bunch of other bags. We're going to get into some of the positives and negatives of it. If it's something that interests you, there's links and coupon codes and all of that down in the description. You know, it's, it's surprisingly hard to get a good angle on a rifle bag for video. But we're going to do the best we can. So this is probably the best angle we're going to get on this here rifle burrito. This rifle case by Hackett is made just like their range bags are made for people that live in an area where you have to transport all of your stuff to the range. And so it's designed to protect the gun that's inside. This gives it some positives and negatives for some people to know before they go delving money into this. This bag runs about $100. It comes in 36 inch, 42 and 46 inch lengths. Right now they're only available in black, but I anticipate that that's gonna change in the future. The exterior of the bag is heavily, heavily padded, and it's got a water-resistant liner on the outside. The idea of this is when you open this up, which you're gonna see in a minute, you can use it as a shooting mat. There's a Velcro field on the one side with the little patch that they send with it that says rifle burrito. And there's two Fast-X buckles right here, which I don't think are entirely necessary to the design, but I guess they wanted for a little more security, so that way it couldn't possibly open up. I don't know how you'd fit something in here heavy enough where this would open. Now, the reason I say that is that this thing un and it has a significant amount of Velcro holding it all closed up so that your rifle inside stays wrapped up inside and protected. So there's a, a bunch of padding on the outside of this and then this kind of like semi-hard exterior that's protecting the gun. So if you've got a gun that you want to keep in pristine condition, you can take it to the range, open this up, pull the gun out, shoot, have it right here on the mat. And when you're done shooting, unload it, wrap the whole thing back up in the burrito and take it home without any chance of you know, rocks and stuff scratching your rifle. That's not entirely important to me in my line of work, but for some people, like my buddy who's gonna be getting this bag for long-term review, he owns a bunch of antique guns. We just use his M1 carbine for some steel plate armor testing. And for him, that's important to be able to protect some of the more historically valuable guns that he owns. The back of the bag has backpack straps with a center strap in case you're gonna to have to walk a distance into the range that you're going to, or if your hands are full, you can throw your rifle on your back and then carry two bags instead of having to carry your rifle bag around. Other items to note on this, the entire interior surface of this bag, this entire red field, is loop side Velcro, so you can take your favorite patch shameless plug and stick it on there or you can have your shooting patches and stuff stuck onto the bag so that you can see them while you're engaging targets at the range or you could use this as a patch wall if you really wanted to you wanted to spend a hundred dollars to hang a big red field up in your house hey whatever floats your boat but it does give you a lot of options for being able to configure things in here if you wanted to put a mag pouch on here a velcro back mag pouch on here to hold extra rifle mags you could do that or if you were going to attach a magazine pouch or a cartridge pouch on here for use with a single shot rifle you could do that as well so there's all the upshots it keeps the gun protected and all of that what's the downsides well from my perspective there's a couple of downsides one is this isn't exactly a quick deploy type of deal right you've got it all wrapped up in this thing and there is no zipper to quickly access the gun and go. So in the back of a squad, this is not such a good idea. Really designed for the range. The other one is that while this is plenty long, it's not particularly wide for an outfitted AR-15. So if you have a fairly large optic like this Aimpoint Pro on here, and a 30 round mag loaded into the gun. You've got the gun all ready to rock at the range and you've got a light on it and a foregrip and all of that and you try to close this bag up, you're gonna find that you come up a little short in the closing the bag up department. 
So you have to either use a 20 round mag if you've got a rifle like that or transport the gun unloaded. I think for the target audience of taking this to the range and in perfect pristine condition, leaving the gun unloaded isn't gonna be a big deal for people, but it's something to know before you go spending $100 on a bag for your rifle that you're taking to the range. If you wanna leave the rifle loaded all the time and you use a 30 round mag and an AR with an optic on it and a bunch of other stuff, it might not all fit inside. So that's the Hackett Equipment Rifle Burrito. If you have any comments or questions, put them down in the description down below. This one is going into long-term testing again with my buddy who owns a bunch of pristine militaria. And he takes the range quite regularly and I think this is gonna work really well for him as a bag slash shooting mat so he keeps his rifles from getting all screwed up, getting gravel into the bits and pieces that make them work and scratching up the finish on things that are really irreplaceable for him. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. While you're here, check out one of our other videos, or head on over to Patreon and see how you can get your name put on the videos like these folks. Or you can check out my Instagram feed. There's a link down in the description, but you can catch live streams of me rapping while drinking coffee and eating a donut. Later.